Cloud9 <laughs> with them selecting that. But I do have a Sentinel in the mix, as one of the things that was tripping up 100 Thieves was the heavy flank pressure that was being applied and not having that to catch it out. So a variation on it. It's different. I'll hold, listen, I'll hold my tongue. It's definitely now, different. Of, you know, how much I like it, dislike it. I don't I mean, know it how it's going to look. The, the loud comp that they brought out, uh, brought out in the past. The, the weird thing to me is that Cloud9 changed how it's this up look. so much. NRG. It starts like on defense. Earlier, it should be outrageous on defense, really. Uh, prior to that, they played it in the, the only the, thing the that they don't have though is like obviously, yeah, obviously the recon just goes so hard on this map. Even more interesting is Victor now on the jet as well, leading the charge. Quick dash forwards, taking that close position. Trouble are broken. Any sort of follow up. In front of the site is contained. Good luck. Rooney on site. Guess what? Still Everything is blocked off. They have a smoke. The over towards lane, out. I guess that's the Viper one, and they have a one-way stairs. Down for a moment. A so Rooney has to get one, and he gets instantly melted. He was the anchoring player. Close to logs, no clearance, no comms, no idea in the world. Victor gets away with two. Looking like they might get their first pistol. From Zelsus and Jake. It looks like this is going to be the first pistol round that NRG pick up in the series. Position noted. Flick to the side, Jake. Too weak. Let's really hold up against any of this. Start spotting his position out. That is just flawless. In yep, every that's sense pretty the nice. They took one bullet. A pistol round taken. It's a nice one too. The way that they get into the front side of B, pump the brakes a little, and then use a flash to get into the back B side as well and overwhelm Rooney, who's playing the uh, the yeah, anchor in terms role of pistols. again on this map like he was playing on Pearl. This is huge for NRG. The attack side of Ascent, it's uh, a side where a lot of teams really struggle. Yeah. Being able to get the pistol and having an opportunity to keep that momentum going okay. is going to be huge. And they buy two oh, rifles. To win their first two rifles, two well specters, and they have a pistol as well. So they can have a, they have, they have a pretty good bonus a position. A lot of if they can keep this clean in terms of three rifles. High low setup. Damn. And it is Cloud9 struggling to return the fire, of course. Just a weaker gun, so wider swing. Ghost upgrade, it's looking for the most. Okay, patience with the play. Up draft dash though, it's gonna start to clear that through along with the paranoia. So 4v3, shouldn't be too much danger in this round out of NRG in, should be a free plan. Every kill kind of matters. Every kill at the moment so makes the bonus a little bit worse. It should be very difficult for Cloud9 to get back into this one. Already seeing Victor dueling against Leaf at the start of the round, and now Victor posted up on top of Generator. We're going to collect these final two. If he can dodge the flash, should have two one. clean ones. Oh, okay, maybe not, Seppa! You can't be doing this. He's working magic with the Ghost right now, but so much more to do. Reflank attempt from Celtis has got to be a bit more fast now. He's low, picks up the gun, flash in his face, drop down, and a running gun from Finesse. Claims it. He's paved the way to make it expensive, but what more can Zelsus do? The spike ticks down, a wider swing from Crash. He's good damage, though. It. They pick up, uh... And they save the Phantom, too. That's it, though. That's, uh... Level heads and field so, so, yeah, it's not generator. too bad. They're gonna finesse, just buy into this. So it's looking like... And this is gonna be... A bonus round. NA buy. Kind of, with some... Investing looking down. Looking like an NA buy. MHC. <laughs> 1023. Thank you so much, man. Join the Slug Club and gift in over as well. Bondi, baby, welcome into the Slug Club. If you got a gift, please say thank you. Over towards MHC. 1023. Thank you for that, mate. Appreciate your support today. Same opening play that we see. Okay, we go fast into this one. We have a bit of an NA buy in terms of a 4 1 buy after this round if they lose. Celsius has done enough getting one, but. Still looking like a good round for NRG. Everyone on site apart from 1B main, so. Oh, this is pretty important into this one. It's a good post plant position, and also Rooney is not running that B retake wall that we've seen from so many teams that run Viper on this map. Trailblazer. is good. Bots him. How do you want to take this fight? Looks like there is going to be a better relief from the pressure because it's finesse. What a shot to hit. At least aware. He knows, surely. Barreling through into the side. It all comes down to this. Crashes. I'm nice. Handle from Cena. 
Every angle watched yeah, I liked it, and they, it was very disciplined in terms of everyone watching everywhere. Um, in terms of this one, though, NRG did enough damage that this is going to be a straight up swing round going into this. There's three people that are going to have a rough buy. Like a really rough buy. What are we? Yeah, what are we pulling on this one? That was just a bonus. The economy not particularly damaged. Zeppa with a stinger in this round. A guardian for Zelsis. Bladestorm Victor. It's going to be a fairly straight up gun round. Although some people working with a little less. Yeah, it's a huge round. All right. Big swing round here. So that it can cut Whoever wins this can uh, has a chance at least certainly seen teams to get very far ahead. They decided to wait for the flash over towards over towards uh, B, and then they saw the flash over towards A, and that was their that was their go signal to group up and now head over towards the B site. So they're at the moment they're literally playing against the sky. Damn. Crouches down and I sail right over his head. And as all that's happening, the utils expended to try and slow down that hit. Does just that. Som. Oh my goodness. Stun. Seekers in his face. Can't yeah, see they just have yet. no map it's control at the moment. Bases. Damn. Just like that, that was clean. It kind of all came one, down to that one duel over towards sight. Insane situation from Zelsis. He's under so much pressure in sight. And that was, yeah, like I said, big chance for someone to kind of snowball into this, and that is the perfect ground for them. Money's good, and now they go against the eco, so they can get this money even better. So, yeah, kills for NRG, pretty important. Um, yeah, it's kind of unlucky. Yeah, from Victor, that's all the dodge. I mean, if you want to give Zelsis the credit for it, like Neo in real time is what it felt like. And that, that's taking all the momentum away. From uh, I like the yeah, idea from NRG, the though. They had a follow -up that could have gone I like dangerous. the idea in terms of waiting for the and flash. I mean, oh, this is fast. This is real fast. Do they expect Omen to be over towards sight? Whoa, this not is favor, snowballing. Yeah, that's a gun. Spam, maybe? Wow. The angle's watched for. Shut down. Oh my goodness, it's a Holy beast. hell, the shock. <laughs> it's Rooney who survives. The shock. They were like 30 HP and like 2 HP. It took him down. It was real close. I mean, they made it expensive. Yeah, Zeppa does deserve a ton of credit. He did everything in terms of this one. NRG are going to take a time out here, but watch it from his POV. He's just swinging through the smoke. Warbang headshot as well. One enemy remaining. He's already up to seven kills here, Zeppa. Across oh, five rounds. And most of that is coming from supporting his players in backside. The player's job for Cloud9 when they anchor B is just to try and survive as long as possible, to yep. delay, to drag utility out, and provide that distraction for Zeppa to flash himself through the smoke or just swing based off a of timing. Uh, at some point here, if NRG keep wanting to hammer the B hits, they need to be ready for that. I mean, if you post somebody up at market or you post them uh, just tucked at they, switch, um, places where they can play anti-flash and be able to swing through the smoke, when they hear Zappa, they did good they damage. Collect, so I'm thinking that this might be a swing round uh, still. Rotating has worked very well for the defense. But uh, the round like before it being so flawless, maybe not. And get yeah, it over I, with from NRG. I think that they could do well with slowing down the opening rounds for attack side. Maybe that's what's being called as well through this time. Viper Harbor Sky Killjoy, the only viable comp on Palm. Nah, there's some others for I mean, sure. Comp, that's just, you know, just an easy it's gaining popularity just an easy one. Playing this Viper on this map. It's not necessarily a new concept, but. Um, yeah, does, right. Money's still really high because think. of that flawless round that they had. Uh, just, uh, yeah. Go into the flow chart and of how important rounds. C9, Killjoy all up, two away from everything else. And Crashies has his all. And they are one away from a KO if they wanted to get an orb. Almost anti synergy as well. The wall gets brought up there. Interesting so, the that now Zepp is holding on to his flashes because I reckon that maybe C9 were talking about it in the pause, how they're just reactively playing off it, which would be very impressive if they started to realize that. It's a nice aggro smoke. Try and prevent them from taking a lot of that space from the drones, but denies it in part, one for one. It's a nice orb setup from Rooney. There's a lot of people using their orb as a one way over towards Cat, for example. Dog? Wow, that's Simple a nice dog. He yeah, dogged from here and checked all of middle. Past it. And the problem here is, yeah, Cloud9 might be able to threaten a repush in B main using that orb, but not if NRG is so close. And this, this round's going to end B again. Yeah, it is with the 
And they have so many people in it. Flash goes in. Hawk goes in, but they have bodies here. He falls. Hunter's Fury as well. That supplements it. Pushes the players in unfavorable angles. And there is that Rooney has to kill Alon. Sight. To his knees, reflank into mid. Comes down to this. Quite an important time. Oh, this might have owned it. That Rooney did great. Down. Picking him up. Damn, Ardis is so unlucky right here. Brought back down just like that. Leaves like no. Ardis should still have this round. But time is running short. Twelve seconds left. Spike needs to be planted down to leave here. Imagine it. Going for the second one. It's going wide. One bullet left. Knows that Ardis is there. Drops the weapon. Hands it back over because there's a rifle just by his side. Doubled up. Grouped up. Trying to isolate one of the fights. One shot. Found the Holy second. hell. He was so aware they were going to be playing together. So damn good in the clutch. Leaf had many if opportunities to win that today, though. I, if, he had, if he had connected on the wall bang, he was... I don't know how he missed, to be honest. It looked like he was dead on and knew exactly uh, where the plan was happening. The shot went wide to the left there. Yeah, just by a very small margin. And he had a good read on where Crashies was positioned too. So smart there, but not quite able to finish it out. So that's another round on B, but this time a success from NRG. Getting value from the null command. They're not going to have that again now. And now you're going to see these rounds though slow down in part because they picked up this operator. Victor's going to be using this on the attack side. Oh. He's hunting, hoping for somebody um, just okay. walks Another right swing round. Him. Damn. Up top play. <laughs> Bangs his head on the That's top. Good info. Right back down again. Out. Good info on that one. Oh, man, okay. So yeah, massive round. We have a lot of ults for it, so kind of want to see a lot of these ults invested. Drone over towards the middle. They just sky flashed with the smoke behind it and they take B main control. This is still the Viper smoke. Is Viper gonna go and pick up this smoke? Either way, there are three people here that might flash out of this one. So yeah, they're being super proactive and that flash is incredible. And then. This is so good. Oh my god. C9 are incredible right now. And he's hunting for the clip. He wants the ace. Not the cleanest in the world. Listen, he'll still try and fit it into 60 seconds. But the round is all but one, and that was the goal of it. 30 seconds left. It's an incredible round from Cloud9, and this is why we talk about defensive <laughs> This so is a smart <laughs> team, man. <laughs> the <laughs> they've they've got some cool stuff, chat. This is really, really the cool. The smoke nine. here, the because flash the in, the three pass and push. There. The reaction of the turret or, or a Lombard, I didn't fully see. The flash that goes in forced them into this area, and then they've obviously pushed, so they can just shoot them in this angle. Like, they are... They've been thinking of some stuff. They really have. They've been coming up with some stuff. Yeah, I mean, the Blade Storm accuracy has just been ridiculous from late and any time you can put him in a position like and it's that, all it's like gorgeous. at least from in my books it's all new and i feel like i watch do. most of the stuff quite a lot as well so Where yeah i think they've just come up with it all spent a lot of value in their round getting leaf onto an aggressive position in b main obviously leaves a monster as well he ha always has this opportunity even if NRG had barreled their way through catwalk there he could have gone onto the flank yep. and been behind them Ready to retake and flush out that post plant positioning. I mean, it's just Get such a good way. idea on the defense. The knife's pretty big. Hit two? Got great or, ideas, yeah, hit two. Turret goes down. One of the big difficulties of playing that attack side on Ascent is trying to obfuscate and hide your intentions when you're on the attack side. Walking away through Cat. This Viper wall in their face. Wasn't a few problems, and the smoke's gonna replace it. Looks like they got shot down heavy on shore, yeah, and they're Clear thinking that short's now gonna be weak because of it because they feel like they've the conditioned really. them. C9 the take the all the aim in. There's one, but Jake returns, and he's still alive, still in the action, still in the fight, one and still claiming kills. New kid shut it down well. Nice Jake the good. Doubling up in aim aim yeah. to make sure that they deal with it fairly effectively. Once more. I mean, every time. Damn. Every time we cast a set. I'm, I'm really impressed with the moment. Map, right? So, My ultimate is ready. even though this is going badly for NRG right now, it only takes a couple of slip ups. 
and suddenly they're right back into things. Cloud9 need to continue this excellent gameplay and shut NRG out. We've seen so And I like that they're changing up their stuff as well. They now have the Viper. They have some cool setups with the Viper and the smoke, especially over towards B. Also changing the kill drop now they feel like it's been feel like it's been seen enough. They're waiting for the flash. They know that Zephyr's gonna want to try ah, and look at this rotate. Four people here. Viper's gonna be here. Any mollies? Out in the open there. Nowhere to run, but it's Cloud9. Shoring up the defenses. This time stacking. Three of their players still here. And LG make the call now to slow it all the way down. Cut noise. Make them think that we could still be. Still got info, info. They're gonna feel kind of confident with this. And I think they might just hold A the whole time because we have a turret here. We have a Lombard middle, double killjoy, and then this is the Viper smoke as well. So he can go back a site to like play for time and he can ult as well. And then with that ult, obviously, we can get the rotate coming. So I imagine as soon as the turret shoots, we're gonna see him fall back and. And oh, or is he? Oh no, he's in like boat house. Oh, he's committed. Okay, this is kind of nice. Gonna TP over the way. They want to force rotations potentially. <laughs> Not being baited. Yeah, I go anywhere. It could be the idea in mind, but no one's really being pressured. Zelsus wants to take this early fight. He does win it, but guess what? Yep, yeah, it's that bait and switch. That was the goal. That was the hope. Yet. Yeah. It's still okay, they faked the omen all. Not being baited at all in the slightest. Spike down A. Finesse, last one standing. That what an insane it. round from Jake. He faked the omen all and then insta cancelled cool because there's so much time. So he thought they might be going back. It was honestly a fake a anyway. But holy round, hell, what a what a round from Jake. Not only kills his fake with his ult was incredible. Uh, but. I think one of the other parts was that Zelsis managed to avoid the zero point. Yeah. Didn't get caught. So they committed towards A instead. And Cloud yeah, Zelsus, just held their did Zelsis win out his they joy? He must have. Flustered in that moment. They nope. didn't all start scurrying away and playing B. No over rotation. This is um and I think this is all their, the this is all their attack pauses, right? An alarm bot played in mid here. And NRG the way that Finesse is calling this has been very heavily towards B. And then what I've enjoyed as well is that C9 are changing up all of their setups really and they haven't need any pauses for it. So like the, the calling and, and uh, I don't know, I don't know who's in charge of their defensive stuff. Again, it could be the Killjoy itself just saying where they want to go. It could be the op um, in terms of Leaf saying how he wants to play it. They are just changing. They are just changing it up all the time. And it's and it feels like it's at the right time. Like NRG gonna have a rough time finding a read into this. Viper Omen compositions as well because the walls have been placed typically towards mid. It means that NRG have to spend that little bit extra utility just to try and clear through if they wouldn't, you know, even have the chance of trying to break any of that utility that was in mid. And uh, if you spend that, it's not utility you've got them for the site pops. But oh no, with four players on A. Yeah, they seem to have a bit of a read on this, maybe from the half by. What is this read right now? The way NRG have been leaning so heavy towards B. Maybe that's their expectation. Sky flash over the top, that gets good info. So Flash no goes in, they were, they were all ready for a fast hit. Yes, yeah, so they were all on A for a fast hit, doesn't come in. They now got mid control. Almost immediately in the round. They have a good setup for this though. No, they kind of left sight though. Taking a space there on the so, side yeah, and they have Killjoy also. All they need to do is hold over towards with. short. Picks up the easiest kill. On to Crashy. Still, spikes planted now, so money earned. There is a little bit of danger now into this yeah. round, but with the lockdown committed, it's good. Even <laughs> energy choose to fight. Good odds for this. They know they're gonna fight this. They got nothing else for it. KO nade just missed. Oh no, it hit. Perfect KO nade. And this is a little bit all over the place, but down to finesse. With just a frenzy. He's gonna do so much work. And it's That's not so unlucky. 46 HP. Oh, hey, it was a really nice try from uh, uh, NRG. Sure FNS had a good nade for this. I thought it wasn't gonna hit, but actually it I was like killed. From NRG. They get in. The KO nade is good. The way in which they fight aggressive towards tree is nice as well. But Cloud9 had the better weaponry, and they're being able to save these situations. This is, this is a very set, nice low buy. I wonder. I wonder if they're gonna feel like they can hit A again after this. NRG out. This is the exact opposite of what we saw on Haven. NRG win the pistol, and now they are one and seven when it comes to the other rounds in the half. NRG need to pick up at least one of these final couple rounds with how badly their pistols have been going. 
It's do or die. Last two moments, last two oh. chances. Oh Leaves my god. Where he's going. <laughs> and uh, good note to see that uh, Celsus has changed up his alarm bot as well. So Shock goes in to break the normal back. alarm bot, but he's done the further back one. It clears all of this, so that's nice. Sitting. Uh, one, two, three, Glenda. Appreciate it. Here, With the Prime, thank you so much, dude. Welcome into the Slug Club. And there is a person wine that has not been spotted. Damn. It clears it. Well, <laughs> they, knew, they knew that. Okay, this is a round for them. This is a good round. Keep an eye on the luck that's trying to go over towards middle and lump spots. They have so much money, they might as well try and go for this. Looking good so far for NRG. Uh, Glenda, thank you, mate. Appreciate it. Thanks for using your prime on me. Finally can use this dash. Lovely <laughs> shot with the reaction tires, but NRG are there. The triple face and the triple swing. Winnable. Down to just Celsius. It's a 1v2. With finesse this low, it is entirely winnable. Breaking the door. Starting to hear the tick now of the spike, and it's becoming difficult. It's a bit of a blessing. Yeah, some the options are running out. And Vanessa realizes. Uh, nice it. run from NRG. Takes the peak right over the boxes, takes away. Yeah, I like to flash over NRG towards here. The Sorry. Flash over gained. towards they here was nice. The all one. over towards wine was good as well. Again, especially with how bad their pistols have been really going. Good. They did win one in this map, but it was their first of the series so far. They're one and four. So an Unless you're banking on it, you'd love a fifth here. Um, it has not been a successful attack side, but usually. And this teams are gonna be good this has been defense. up for a while. The roles, though, We're going to see that into this really round. Discuss the fact no. that so strange here. Uh, Glenda, thanks for sending that as well, man. But here we go. Heading into the final round. Thank you, dude. Rooney pops the okay. Now we get the ult. And again, this is a nice ult just because you have, like, freedom. Even this little alcove if you want to hide in here. So it's a good ult. Got the turret inside it as well. Yeah, I like that. It's cool. Alarm bot over towards middle. Again, been changing it up. They saw the alarm bot in terms of the lurk here. Zelsis taking that into mind puts his alarm bot a little yeah. bit. It's that peace of closer. mind, extra layer of security. That's what's being used. <laughs> nice. He sees the molly coming in. He picks up the turret instead of letting it go down. I was wondering when people are going to start doing that. He gets that back in twenty. That's the shock that goes for the further back alarm bot. As we can see, it's closer. <laughs> Victor doesn't want to let them know that he has the ops, so he knifes it. Forty seconds left, though. The Viper's Pit has really corralled NRG into a weird spot. Where do they take this? Do they want to just push all the way through into spawn? Cloud9 have it. Oh! A miss from Victor Big miss. is devastating. Especially with how much Cloud9 have pushed out through Gelato. 25 Wait. seconds. Wait. But, but they're so proactive. I guess they dogged or fl flashed out, and FNS is just thinking of what to do next. Cloud9 with all the right reads, all the control. The necessities to win out this round. Yeah, he's looking at the mini-map, he's trying to work out what to do, where to group, looking at everyone on his team's positions, and they just get caught out. What an insane half from C9. This was really cool, really impressive, had a lot of cool stuff. But that was always the side that this comp was going to be good at, so four might be enough, we'll see. Um, but yeah, getting this score when you lost pistol was very impressive. But uh, yeah, we'll see. NRG should have a good time on their defense. Again, like, no recon to worry about. So all of these kind of rap pauses become great. We'll see. Thank you so much, fellas. And yes, I, you know, 8-4 on defense for NRG Riv. Just not something that I thought I would have been seeing going into the next half, but here we are. And now C9. Does I jelly make your aim worse? I don't know. Could, ask, could, ask, if scream. Their attack comes out as strong ask, as scream. Ask, scream. See right? what he says. the defensive side, it was eight yeah. enough. If energy can push through with this comp, maybe dismantling this new agent select that C9 tries to bring in. It's not, it's it not uncalled for. Wrong. It's C9 like a, a it's a legit good case study. It is a legit good case study. It is the living proof. Straight up living proof. C9 make a switch over to the attacking side after a really solid defense. What ended up struggling a little bit for them was oftentimes these post punts. So yeah. often it was being retaken by 100 Thieves. And you see that one across their series. They've been good on other maps, but here on Ascent, it's where they struggled. But the difference is that C9 have come back in. They saw the issues versus 100 Thieves, even though the first half was so dominant. And now they brought this Viper composition that I think gives them a lot of options on the defensive side for the post punt.
talent and also in mid in particular when you're playing that default you can put that orb up you can put it down whenever you choose we've talked a lot about this duo of leaf and zeppa and having the viper orb to come up and down gives him a lot of choices for space to take in the mid round which i think is a big strength that c9 can play to in this half yeah we wanted some innovation riv and i do feel like we're getting a little bit of that from c9 we're getting a lot of that as a matter of fact and it's been really fun pistol, to watch straight yeah, up ability hit. to push Bam. up use this wall to take more space Let's the mid-round calls is gonna be we like. saw leaf getting a 4k coming out because they decide to yeah obviously on a in terms of just like the more detailed when you're igling you're looking up here a lot right you're kind of doing how how i'd watch all of this just watching the minimap all the time trying to work out what's next so the time spent looking at your crosshair is significantly less so All right, well, this is what it. happens when that happens? You yeah, just Could don't aim as much. You lose aim, George. You get caught off. People time you. You're thinking through everything. Not full co concentration on your crosshair. Just not true, really, is it? Just not true at all. Just making stuff up. <laughs> I am, however, paying attention to what the desk were talking about when it comes to Valorant. The Victor Artist swap is really interesting. What makes this map different to Haven to the point where they would all right. swap those rolls around? Three yeah. people AD here, straight up B here. hit. The Artists knife is going to ruin everything. Wasn't able to get very much value the knife the wasn't able just to get hit one because they're still walk pushing this and this he's rotating off. Could be everything. Hit two. At least. The early knife did spot out a couple of these Cloud9 players, but look at this. Through the wall. Victor just wants to disengage, but already. It's a nice reposition from him. But. The, the Molly spawn as well stops them from flooding. It was a nice kills. hit. Uh, completely caught backpedaling. Both of those players on NRG. Uh, and I can't understand. Did they just expect Cloud9 to be walking yeah. through their own wall without any thought? Difficult. NRG to make the most out of this one. Limited with the utility. Oh, crazy guy. Hard to reload. <laughs> How's he still alive? Doing good work Winning here, but already. See Zelsis. Damn the rest of them. Mate, they only got finesse. one pistol Last out of six. That's devastating. That's so hard to win games. Right, in terms of just this map, 1-1. One, one, in terms of the whole best of three, 5-1 in pistols. Yeah, that's an absolute nightmare. And if there was a chance for NRG to get back into this, which there definitely is on a defense side of map like Ascent, I think a lot of it was going to come down to the pistol. You think about the deficit they're going to be at now. Assuming Cloud9 win the anti-eco, which they've been good at, it's a six-round deficit that they've got to this try is, and recover. It's going to be really hard. Not impossible. Really, really hard. Not impossible. Uh, in terms of how they're approaching this again, just trying to make sure they can tough. win this one. Beard of money saved from Rooney. Cloud9 are going to be feeling themselves stretching closer. To really sitting on top of the standings in terms of the North American teams. Yeah. We were talking about it. Setting it up at the beginning, the last hopes of North America. Trying to bait him in with Cloud this one. Cloud9 NRG, the way they've been looking in terms of their What's strength. What's the timing like of Jake's swing at middle? But it's Cloud9. Dude, they're not they're gonna, gonna expect the him here. Of those standings. It's gonna be weird. Which is uh, quite unusual indeed. No Has one no really TP had to get out. Expectation. But they've come out with really good counter striding. Yes, they have. And their own game plan, their own ideas yep. are really lovely too. I think they, they look like an extremely cohesive team when they play together. Now Cloud9 grouping up over towards B. There's nobody there. It's a gamble stack from NRG on A. Yeah, nice but calling into this one. Should be a clean do they want to keep this safe and just flash for info? Yes, they do. It doesn't hit anyone. It's a good amount of info and dash as well to clear all the angles. Molly had yeah, spawned to make sure they don't go in. Smoke in the corner over towards here as well. Damn, look at this. In the common angle there with a the marshal. They could. There was a potential for a kill. I mean, yeah, and they could literally not lose anyone into this. We'll now, see. This is interesting. NRG, they pop down and smoke. Spike so Som's cut off one of the angles quite quickly. And it's possible that we just see NRG hold and try and bleed Cloud9 of all their weaponry. Oh, oh my god, if he didn't move. Oh my goodness. No damage done, but that was uh, very close. And NRG are... Scared of the potential there for the B main push, but already fighting back. So you till use this energy trying to take these guns away, make it that much more expensive. It's right damage. Yeah, dangerous. it's all right. It's better than I thought it would have been. They hold the ground. They sail away. Another round win. Up to ten for Cloud Nine. Now the question becomes. All right. 
What do they look like once guns get on the board for NRG? You expect <laughs> not, this NRG squad not you as well, Yumpy. In terms of setting Victor up, having good defensive protocols. But Cloud9 demonstrated some excellence of their own in the first half. And I'm sure they prepped for this side. They're going to take a tactical timeout. Interesting. I mean, I think you have two to burn in the map, right? The first half went so well for Cloud9, they haven't had to use any of them. You're 10-4 up. You do not want to let this slip. If MCE's got a chance to reinforce and remind Cloud9 what the bonus round strat is, what their game plan is moving forwards, what to try. I mean, this is just free for MCE. Sure. And then he's still got another timeout later on if NRG starts to mount a comeback. So I, I really don't mind this. I think it benefits Cloud9 much more than it benefits NRG. <clears throat> not yet, um, not yet. Logan, thank you so much. Given the team that's down thank you, Logan. Talk, but the bonus round is important. Gift in the sub. And I also think that NRG won't consider themselves down and out. HTTP 8203. Yeah, thank you so much, They're dude. Extremely, extremely Logan, appreciate players. you. Thank you for they're the gift, mate. situation like this shake them, even if they do look like they're on the ropes currently. Well, three rounds. That's what stands between Cloud9. Getting an absolutely monumental win. Appreciate you. Right. NRG. Okay, and point, we had a timeout for this one, sense. so he yeah, wants exactly. to do something. Been on the up and up. C9, again, just hate the bonus round. They buy into this. It's, uh, I mean, it's a very decent bonus. It's good. Uh, we can't call it a bonus, though. We'll call, call it a big swing round, because that's what it is. So, let's see. They're split, but not the start that they were looking for. Tempered beginning. Crossed the map with a the knife there just for some early information. But look at Cloud9, the way they just waited that out. It lands, no one getting tagged by it. <laughs> the drone spotted out, so that is... Nicely work. done. So turret to spot mid control. And early on, NRG have gone for a punish over towards A. And this one person, in terms of smoking this and breaking this, is keeping four people here. To like fake that he could be getting in on B has pulled a lot of attention. Oh, there you are pushing him. Oh, the flash, the recon dart. Damn, he got a lot out and numbers. Yeah, they they saw all the util. They're just like, damn, there's a KO flash. We saw someone peek. The alarm bots up. <laughs> the alarm bots up. We had a we had a recon as well. Like they know there's at least three here. The only person they didn't know about was the jet. So that's where they contact walk in. Because they're just like, there is numbers over towards here. They get over towards the site. There is two people in B main. They are not going to... What a weird round. So he's kind of dying there early. So they don't expect the kill joy that I thought was going to go middle. But I'm fully wrong. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure why he decided to go for it. I don't know with three players left standing in this post plan here. So, laser up. Broken. Good info. He has a flash if he wanted to peek with it. pushes them back. Lockdown's got to be dealt with as well. This puts that time pressure on. Dash across. Spraying through. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Jesus. It's an RTO trip down onto the side. This lockdown will go down. Will go off, I should say, but there's a gap in it. There's a lot of low HPs if he can do an extra bit of damage here. Yeah? Holy hell, this was close. Imagine he got it. Imagine he got the kill. Uh, Moo, 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 G. Thank you so much. Welcome into the slug club. That's important for NRG to Let's uh, take the win in that round. But let's get some slugs in for also, triple Moo. With four players surviving, a clean one. Yeah, that's going to put their economy in a very nice spot. So Cloud9 failed to convert the bonus and also <laughs> really failed to do Dude, your first message is Moo as well. Around. Honestly, I respect the hell out of that. Of miraculous gameplay coming out from these Cloud9 players from League. <laughs> All right, let's get into this one. Well. They full, uh, can full they, board. Can they grab anything here? Wait, so low buy, sorry. They full board into the last round, low buy into this one. So this should be a chance for NRG to stack so up some rounds. The but honestly, they get... Over, not stack ups around, stack up some money, no some ults, but they get over towards the site with the low guns, and there is no ult for this retake, so it could be a bit of a nightmare, especially with the Viper smoke of heaven and mollies coming down. And he has another molly for this? This is a nightmare. Trailblazer. That's that exchange of utility, Victor. Dash engage so many people on the heaven now. Players in hell, Jake wins one. 
through more though. Shorty. Oh my goodness, it's going this way. That way, Leaf still alive. Padded for him. Needs to win the fight out, but can't quite Holy land the good damage there, though. So. Good damage got a little bit close again. Don't get me wrong, dangerous, rocky, but <laughs> yeah, these diffusers, it's not board. convincing. It's a nice uh, low buy. Isaac, man. Okay, Isaac has now gifted another sub, so everyone gets some slug approves in too. But how many moves we got here? Moo, 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 moo. Six moves. They only need three attacking rounds from here. <laughs> But at all times, <laughs> NRG are going to be catching up. Thank you so much for that one, Isaac. Appreciate you. C9 without any big alts to work with. Moo underscore Moo Meadows with the slug approves as well. What the hell's going on with you, man? <laughs> okay, let's tune in because it's a buy round. Uh, in terms of the econ, it's been really close, right? So money's low. So again, another swing round. Uh, C9 have done good to keep these rounds close. With his operator here. I don't think Jake was spotted there, but might not matter. The goal of this one seems to be a bit of mid control. So Trailblazer leading. The it way. is a banger map, yeah. Well, it's it's a banger map, position. banger game. Is any contact on this? It looks like Finesse has. The jump spot? Did he see anybody? Savnak as well, no, two, <laughs> two months in the slug club with the message, Moo. Thank you Slamo's for that, Savnak. Appreciate you. Two months. Thanks for no using your prime on me. Okay, and... Oh boy. Really but does that... No, they but do they... Are they going to go spawn? The from him and to the top of mid. They're gonna go. They're right, gonna go. Three three and that they so, have a good chance, and a lot of this is on Zeppa. Does he go around the corner? Right yes, now. he does. Does he expect Vic to close? To them. What a weird round. Zeppa's just a little piece of bait here. Rooney might have an opportunity spike, to catch people in spawn. And Zeppa dying there is absolutely still enough time for this. Doesn't have spike. Wants to pick up his smoke. Again, has no idea where Victor is. Not set up for him. Twenty seconds left. Has to take liberties of the way he's clearing that one. An artist. Yeah, there's a chance into it though. Um, okay, that was the big round. Really they have to go low by again. It's he pushed off. it's was, getting a little bit worrying. Point. Three in a row. They're still doing good damage. So the money's not great, but it's not a round win yet. Which we saw from his point of view. Then he swings gelato so that he's posted there. Picks up the old orb to get blade storm and goes on a flank. <laughs> I need to watch out for some of these names, surely. Okay. Using the Van Silly's gifted the sub as well, so everyone gets some slug approves in for Van Silly. I'm trying to work this one out of my head, Van. It's fine, I think. Sides. I'm just going to call it Pen, though, Van Silly. I swear you're Maybe trying to bait me. <laughs> I don't know. Either way, thank you for the gifted. Oh boy, low buy again. They go super fast. We've got another gifted as well, I see. Don't worry, Chan. I'm waiting for this first. Can they overwhelm? I want to see respect the attempts. Nice shots from Jake. He's made this really doable. Zephyr picks up the op as well. Oh, you, you're fine. You're fine. You did enough. You did enough. Stop. Stop. You got an op. <laughs> He's still going for more. He's so pumped right now. And an operator reclaimed as well. So Zephyr's going to be able to watch that lane angle. How? Thank you so much for the gift, Van Silly. Appreciate you. They're going to get recon dart back online in a moment. They still have a paranoia. So. Damn, Jake has had an absolute round. Oh. Damn, what a what a crazy round from him. And they pick up the op, he gets the gun at the end. All while celebrating. Really, really nicely done. Okay, during all of this, let's see the replay. This kill, yeah, that was the important one. They have so much more success compared to any other team. It's bonkers. It really is. I've got a question. Madness. Okay, chat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy hell, he's so pumped. He's still, he's still relaxed a little bit. Holy hell, the adrenaline is flowing. Okay, Isaac has gifted another sub over towards. Moo, 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 moo. Welcome into the slug club. That's a lot of damage done from these shocks. Did I miss anything else? No. Oh my goodness. Jesus, Prius. Look at a bird's eye view approach to this one. They have a lot of big ultimates to try and take this back. 
and Crashies is not in a spot where he can stop the hit coming through with his Hunter's Fury. No commando, Finesse uses it as soon as the first piece yeah. of and they have, uh, Victor will fall. And they have Zephyrs. Oh, if they want to at any point, now. just going to wait for this kill. Uh, sorry, uh, KO ult to run out. Attacking round. Wait this ult out. Are they yep. going to have enough time to be able to get back into the site here? And Crashies repositioning slowly. Now he's in a good spot to use yep. his Hunter's Fury as that sight hit comes through. Very good. With the dart still active. This is a nice reaction though. Use. Is he going to flash through middle or walk through middle? Really FNS has a very good timing on this. I like his decision making in this one. He's a very important. That is a nice kill. They get over towards site. The problem is, if they get this down, they have a Viper ult. The Viper ult maybe gives them enough space, but if this is lane, it's kind of strong. Jake again has been an absolute monster. He can TP. Ah, it's unlucky. It was a really good try from him, though. But still, this pit. It's gonna come down to that Damn, this Viper ult is actually pretty nice. You can just hold the whole the lane. The Can you spam the they angles? get a good amount of space over towards the site. And they're not gonna expect him on top, I don't still think. Because he's kind of committed the whole time. He has a molly as well. All about this timing now, all about the kill that he's about to collect and still in the pit of decay damage kicking in. Tom, Damn, really nicely gun. handled. Holy oh, hell. In terms of the money, they the are case. absolutely and broke, NRG. Fully the broke. One more stands between them winning this yeah. series. NRG Five chances for C9 to win this one. The past two rounds. They've been set up with a potential victory in both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Damn silly. What are you doing, man? Another gifted. Pannone <laughs> 5, welcome in. Thank you so much, fan silly. Thank you, thank you. A very advantage situation there with the pit on site bringing it down. <laughs> yeah, he's just finding all of the like borderline questionable names. I'm just looking at the name and in my brain's just going like, can I, can I even say this? I'm having to read it like five times. <laughs> hey, are you in the chat? I'm not saying it like that. Come on. You telling me that's not a Pannon? <laughs> All right, five chances. Chat, stop it. Five chances. It's important rounds. Leaf moves forwards, waiting inside of his smoke, just trying to fade out that utility. It's a flooding attempt by NRG. It's There's all down to Som and this all. They can see his legs once the smoke goes. Oh god, he's got well. Molly in his head. Oh right man, Leaf hits it that. Looks impossible. I mean, it's Cloud done. He, we got a, we got a killjoy. Oh, he has a judge for the retake. The he can, wants to try and get this gun at least. We have a Viper Smoke, we have a Viper Molly. Oh my god, he's going to time it. Damn, Jake's still in the site. He owned it. Omen Tech. Use the ult, cancels it, dodges the Killjoy ult. What an insane map from Jake, to be honest. He had some insane impact at the end. Yeah, yeah. They've just got such great answers. Wow. <laughs> They've got so many moments of <laughs> Dude, he's 